Welcome back to another day here in beautiful South Africa, everybody. I hope you're ready for outdoor greatness. So we're just hanging out here at the lodge, just ate breakfast, and we're getting ready to go after uh, an Impala, a Gemsbuck, and maybe some other species that are out here. Some, some of these plains game that have been roaming around. Yesterday, I was out filming with Rob. We had a successful hunt. He got a blue wildebeest. It was an awesome hunt, and we saw so many different animals. So I am so jacked for today. So I'm, Rob's gonna get on the camera. We're gonna go out into the bush, and we're gonna do some spot and stalking with a rifle. So basically we're gonna get in the truck, we're gonna look for animals, we're gonna get out, and then we're gonna try to, to make a proper stalk on them. The bow is gonna be extremely challenging here at this place, uh, just because of the wind and the thick, thick cover that is here. So even if uh, you get fairly close, which would be extremely hard because the ground is harder here. There's a lot of crunchy things. It's going to be very hard with the wind swirling plus the actual movement of the arrow with the wind. So i am decided to go with the rifle and I'm going to be using uh, the same caliber rifle, almost the exact same uh, as what I used in New Zealand. Hope you all are ready to see some more Africa. We got a big safari day going down. So let's get to it. Just like a rare thing to see, so so lucky it came out. I'm gonna go see if we hit him good, but I think I hit him good in the shoulder. He's going down. Yeah, he's gonna lie down there. There it goes. God, how lucky was that? That was awesome. How On the way to the shooting that? range. We were just about to go side in. The 7mm that Rob used yesterday was a little off. And uh, this red leshway was up on the hill with some other impalas and some female leshways. And uh, we just switched guns to a 243. So I think I made a good shot of him right on the shoulder. Excellent That's shot. Beautiful, beautiful, majestic animal. I didn't get a water buck at the last place. And this is kind of like a water buck's cousin. Well, congratulations, you shot a very beautiful one. Thank you. Yeah, absolute pleasure. Thank you, that was just, I cannot believe how lucky we got. One of the things with these African animals that's different with our North American animals is their vials are a little farther up in their chest. Sometimes you have to hit them right in the shoulder so you need a little bit bigger caliber or just make a good shot. And his leg is totally broken. So that just put him down and I got vitals, so. Great shot, great shot. This bow, bro. Thank you. All right, y'all, we just got this beautiful red Leshway here and still got tons of time in the day. What's the history on the red Leshway, Patrick? It came from Zimbabwe or Zambia? Quite a few years ago, we uh, um, there was quite a lot of people that just loved this trophy, and as you can see, it's just such a beautiful yeah, trophy. Beautiful and, horns. Uh, so we thought we'd try them out in South Africa and bring them down from Zambia. And uh, they really are animals that enjoy wet areas and uh, you'll swampy. see the swampy areas yeah. and that. And we've got a couple of places, even though it doesn't look like that yeah, but they do very well here. So about 40, 50 years ago, we brought them in and uh, we've really, they've really done extremely it's well. It's done so, well. Uh, so another example of conservation. Yep. Hunting yeah. actually creates more animals. I know that sounds crazy but um, 
it, it works. There's a big population of them now in South Africa, which we never was. Never before. was there. Yeah. And in Zambia, so we've increased the numbers. Awesome. Mm. Well, this is going to make a beautiful trophy, but uh, I think we got extremely lucky there. Yeah, we did, on the way <laughs> to the shooting range. <laughs> yeah, there was a nice Impala there too, <laughs> and uh, that was on the list. And I Luck think it was a pretty easy choice to, to go after. Luckily, the Luckily, we had bay. the 243. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So hopefully that rifle is on. We'll, we'll wow. have to go set it in now, but awesome, man. Well, let's load really this, cool. and then we'll uh, go and look for some more animals, yeah. Okay, that's All how right. you do it in South Africa. That's how we roll. Cephas has been with us all week, skinning our animals. He is brilliant with a knife. This is where the, the skinning is done and the refrigeration is done. So we actually have quite a few animals from previous hunts in here. There's also salt in here like you've seen in the other places. Look at this, y'all. So Cephas, he'll clean them right here. They're on this track, goes around, into the refrigeration room and it's ready to go. That <laughs> is an operation, wow. This room right here is the meat processing facility. This is very, very, very nice, very well done. All stainless steel, this is like a nice kitchen. So we've just run over to the range quickly to side in the seven millimeter. Yesterday, uh, Rob made a shot that was kind of close. I'll let you see it on his channel, but <laughs> It was off. I shot the 243 this morning, made a great heart, heart shot on that red lash way. I'll probably use that gun on an Impala, but something bigger like a Gimsbuck, which we're also going after, you gotta have something with some more punch. So Patrick's gonna get our, uh, get our target ready and then we're gonna go side in, make sure this thing's on. I'm actually gonna let the, the expert do this. <laughs> He's definitely got the most experience. You hit a, a blue wildebeest three times, twice while it was full gallop at 200 yards, which was very, very impressive. So it was on at that distance. Kind of. Kind of, still probably a little high. It was high and right. High and right, so we're gonna see what's going on right here. I've never seen you miss. <laughs> like, I you shot just... and I turned around, I was like, no, no, no that's not right. <laughs> that's not right. Like if it was me, I would probably be like, well, I guess I freaking missed. <laughs> <laughs> here uh, really yeah so it's that that's a significant difference and this one's the same I Did know my, it was right here when I shot uh, when I pulled the trigger I knew where my my your triangle was. I knew where my triangle was so how many inches do we need to we want it over there to 100 yeah so you're calling um, you are three inches right and three inches down is what you need to do so if it's in minutes you need to go three minutes left three minutes down okay Well, our fears were confirmed. The rifle was shooting high and right. Makes sense with what happened yesterday, if y'all watched Rob's video. Rob's the best shooter we got here. He's gonna dial it in and then we'll be ready for the, the bigger animals that are out here. So we just heard on the radio, there's actually, a, there's only one black Impala on this, on this, you wish you brought your snacks out? Rob is such a snacker, it's ridiculous. Uh, there's a black Impala on the property 
and Ryan and his, and his PH, they found it and uh, they shot it, but they're having a hard time tracking it. So we might have to go help them until we go out and hunt again. So we're just gonna spread out and try to walk. There's a little creek bed here and Patrick and David, they think that the black and Paula maybe just bedded down somewhere in there. This is so much like Texas, y'all. Instead of mesquites, they have what is called uh, uh, acacia. And acacia trees, they look just like mesquites. They're short, scrubby trees with really tall thorns. Yeah, we're gonna walk in a line, just watch the guy next to you, and then only shoot that way if he, if he jumps up. So I don't know how Cephas tells the direction of the animals by like dry dirt, hard dirt, but he can literally look at it and see like when the animals are struggling and track their direction, it's insane. I got blood. How did I just say that? I'm becoming an African. Wow. <laughs> This is good. We've got a bit of blood now. We just picked up. Patrick's on the trail again. Seems like Cephas is really tracking good now. Blood is dry, so it's harder to see on this desert style dirt. One thing to look for is just the easiest path, you know? So, what would you do if you were shot? You'd run in the easiest path, things that aren't going to get in your way as much. So, that's one way. You can often tell, but there's lots of different pathways out here in the brush. So he was standing right here. You see a large pool of blood where he slowed down, just standing. So we might have pushed him. That's good blood. Yeah, he came through here? Yeah. This is a way different way of hunting than what we do in America. Like this is safari style. They're used to hunting bigger game and stuff too where you have to have other people. And uh, like if someone misses, you, you could die. You know, normally like if it was just me and Rob hunting, we'd probably just, we'd sit there for 30 minutes and just kind of quietly whisper. But with the style of hunting, you know, they're like, they won't, they really want you to get the animal down and make sure that they're gonna get down, obviously they have animals that get away. We've just had like four or five shots here, so hopefully this Impala's down, but we're pretty much chasing it. This is, this is really odd for me and Rob, just chasing an animal like this. Okay, looks like we got something down here. It's a black Impala. Fantastic news! We got the Impala. The only black Impala on the property. We got it done. They tracked it down, thanks to Cephas and the other guys, and uh, we're able to put another shot in it and got it down. So that's a spectacular animal to get here. I'm super glad for Ryan that we got that animal recovered. I know how it is to a wounded animal and then, you know, not find it for a while. So luckily, we got it back quick. Now we're gonna get in the truck and go see if we can find some more animals. Hey there. Gim's walk on the hill. Let's walk there, boys. Impalas. Yeah, lots of them follow. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's when you know.